Joe Bastille is here with tonight's final thoughts. My folks grew up in a world where you didn't talk about religion or politics. I grew up in the 60s and 70s during the Vietnam anti-war and Jesus freak movements, so we didn't exactly hold to that ideal. But once we got over our teenage angst, most of us moved on to other things. This current generation isn't too much different, except that their coming of age foolishness gets posted and responded to on the World Wide Web. We've all said and done stupid things. It's just that there isn't archival footage to remind most of us of those awkward moments of not fully developed judgment, except now. Case in point, take this fellow Joshua Fernstein, who has a five minute gonna educate ignorant atheists rant video. Hey guys, Josh Fernstein here. You know, the other day I had an atheist tell me that I was an idiot, moronic, and stupid for believing in God that he created this world because it took way too much faith to believe in a process like that while he believed in what he called the science of evolution. Well, let's go ahead and let's do this. Dear Mr. Atheist, first of all, let me correct you because evolution is not a science, never has, and never will be. Why? Because it cannot fit within the parameters and parentheses of science for one simple reason. It was never observed. That's why it's not science. That's why it's called the theory of evolution. The viral video has not only shown up on my feed, but has gone so far as to attract the attention of worldwide news networks such as the BBC. I've seen more than a few likes from my Christian friends and a lot of response videos from the atheist side. I won't wade in directly and respond to the rant except to point to one video by Let Us Explain. These two guys do a great job responding to the video with a relatively lighthearted attitude. Please check it out. So my initial concern with these atheism versus Christianity smackdowns is when either side begins with a superior intellect attack. Unlike many I see flying into this battle, I actually have a bachelor's degree in biblical studies from a conservative Christian university and spent several quarters studying towards a master's in theology. And I can report without a doubt that there are brilliant thinkers on both sides of the debate. You may not hear from them or even know who they are because of all the hoo-hahs hogging the mic. And let's face it, it's easy to poke fun at the extremists, but truthfully, that's hardly a worthy attitude to have towards this subject. So let's just take this, your position is stupid attitude off the table. Funny thing, it gets really quiet once you stop listening to the name calling. I kind of like the quiet. Now I can actually think about how I feel on the subject. Stay tuned for part two of Mr. Atheist, when I talk about how I actually feel about dealing with atheism versus Christianity. And that's my final thought for tonight. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.